All right, let's try this again. Tauren Chieftain solo, no other units than peons. I can build burrows, towers, and I can fight with peons, and that's about it. All right, so let's do it. I tried this just now, and we got tower rushed by an undead with DK ghouls and ziggurats. It was a good tower rush, and I was... And I didn't scout, even though I should have lots of peons in order to be able to scout to see what's coming. I didn't utilize the full arsenal of options at my disposal. So this time, let's do a little better. We open up with the Tauren Chieftain and we immediately start creeping. Now, there's one more trick here. We're not gonna get Endurance until we get level seven. So we're fully specking into War Stamp and Shockwave together. This is a, a playing theory that some people have had that it could be quite cool to do that. Like, could you ever maybe skip Endurance and go Shockwave and war stomp problem is usually you don't have enough mana so we'll try to fix that this game by spending the money that we have left over from not making units to instead buy both permanent mana holding items like mantle of intelligence we can get it here from the marketplace and also to buy consumable mana like clarity and mana potion so let's do our best now we could do a little burrow creeping this may help us i went for super early burrow creeping just now and i think it messed up my economy too much it made my tech too late and so on and so forth so this time let's do it a little better we're gonna make a burrow on a high value camp and we'll do the small ones just with uh shockwave creeping which should be good enough so i saw that he opened double uh nerubian double nerubian and uh, uh, sorry, double ziggurat and one Nerubian. This means he's gonna go most likely DK ghouls, DK ghouls creeping. Double shockwave opener as the best DPS. Um, if you ever wonder, should you get war stamp or sh shockwave? Well, I'm just getting both, right? But if you're wondering which one you should get, war stomp is damage mitigation and uh, shockwave is damage. So are you protecting units? That, are you enabling and protecting units that will deal damage to an opponent? Like Mass Headhunter or Mass Wyvern? Well, in that case, you're gonna go for War Stomp. If you have no units, you're doing like a, a late game, you lost all your units, you have Farseer TC, and you wanna kill the enemy army, well then you get Shockwave Chain Lightning, because that is an army by itself. A little bit of bro creeping. Oh. Pretty good creeping. And there's a very glad tidings. A potion of greater mana. No endurance feels a little weird, but yeah, keep in mind. I thought about this. If you are going solo Torrent Chieftain. Hey, the tooltip isn't correct anymore. It's not 10% anymore, is it? At least I don't think it is. Uh, if you are going solo hero, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to get endurance since endurance is meant to buff up the many rather than enabling the one. So that's why I thought better to get the two spells. Um, we can of course get claws and gloves and stuff, but I really wanna prioritize and focus on my spell casting rather. Boots of speed or staff can be pretty useful. I guess I'll do boots for now, since mobility is still valuable. Now it's just gonna be a slap fest. I'm just gonna swing my totem at him. Heal solve is meant to keep him with me as well. And now we isolated the ghoul. We're basically like a lion. We see antelopes or bison we try to analyze the solo one the weak one we found one that is abandoned by the herd the other bison are coming to help but we're still a lion ah did you see that double spells let's go we shockwaved into his coil, so the coil missed. 
Heal self to kill a ghoul, very worth it. He came back with that ghoul just to interrupt the healing self. Okay, now I didn't know where he go where he went, right? Like he could have expanded. This is something that we cannot allow. Uh, let's make some towers in the middle to creep the center. We'll get fortified defenses and build two towers. It's not just that, but it's also map control. Okay, so he didn't creep his expo. Mm, we could try to creep his expo, but I think it's easier if we first get another camp, we get level three. He grabbed this before. I should have checked his items and I'll know what he actually went for. We'll do this one then. Thanks for the sub swamp cardboard. Yeah, let's do this one. Block the next bloodlust for a little bit. I think damage mitigation is the key here rather than damage amp. Else we die. We still have to run. We'll come back here. Hope he doesn't take it in our absence. Let's get spikes. It's very important for us that he doesn't get to like destroy your frost worm, which are going to be nearly impossible to kill. That's good. This is uh, what towers can do. We created the bait situation for him to rally around so that we can get some ghoul kills. We should get more peons and build more towers mid. That worked out really, really well. We checked that he has no mana to do more coils, so we're safe. He will have mana like. 25 seconds, which is probably seven seconds after I make it back to my base. More than enough time to hide behind here, lock the door with a peon here and there. I said seven seconds, right? One, two, three, four, and he has it. Misjudged, noob. We have lightning orb now. What items are for sale? Ready to work. What you want. Okey -dokey. Okey -dokey. Work. Ah, leave me alone. Be on block body blocks. Work, work. Be happy to. You know the rules, and so do I. Work, work. Not necros, please. Okay. Necros must be one of the hardest things to stop, especially once he starts adding meat wagons. At the same time, it could be one of the best. I now see that a direct attack on our base is looking incre increasingly likely. So let's take it seriously. Okay. Oh. Come on. Lightning orb. Yeah, that's good. It's too bad that he did get the creep camp. He's gonna have to buy a heal pot. 
Perch, please, perch. Yes. Yes. We need shops in the middle, but this map doesn't allow shops almost anywhere. As we found out last time when we played solo hero here. Oh, he has expo now. Yikes. Oh, tough, 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 tough. Let's go heal up. Here's what I need. I need an expansion. I need an expansion just like him. But maybe I can't yet. I have to do one more attack, I think. Though suppressing his acolytes doesn't seem that useful when he's got 10 mining potentially. I'm almost wondering if I should let myself get some sappers. Hi. It's good that he's not <clears throat> mining with that much yet. Shockwave should be enough to deal with this. Can I make towers here or did I wake up? Yeah, they wake up. <clears throat> I think I survive if I wait for Staff of Telly. Because I don't want to use my my uh, anything else here. Hey, the peon survived. Lightning shield doesn't work on towers, but nice try. He killed the staff of Telly. Yes. He walked straight past the towers in the center, you know. He ignored the obvious bait.
He's had quite a lot of money for quite a while. Can get spikes level two. Hello. <coughs> Does he start creeping? Ah, we can start creeping. level five dude i have so much money but how do i use it at some point all you can do is tower laming gloves of ace pretty cool dude if he's got like frost worms like banshee actually would be the biggest threat wouldn't it I kind of don't want to use the sentry unnecessarily. All I can do is peons and try to win with peons no no frost worm ah oh. oh mass worms he rash frost worms okay i'm going to i'm going to allow myself to make a unit because worms are unbeatable and I still want to make a game out of it. You run now. <laughs> At least we've got a lot of peons. He saw my shop and he wants to do something about it. Are flying XP tomes really units? Who said anything about flying XP tomes? I'm gonna make mass kodos. TC6 will help a lot. Yeah, Kodos are like the worst unit I can make against what I'm facing. So that is my concession to uh, breaking the law. But I don't have to make them yet. I've got the beast trees. I can still try to see if I can win with that. It'll be like a go-to preference instead of losing. Because we've already taken down his base, and I'm wondering, is it really necessary? Is it necessary to drink my own urine? I feel like we're actually doing it without Kodo Beast. Just because he desperately attacked. I don't know why he didn't just defend. He could literally just sit on his base. Sit on his base. And defend it with, with those juicy frost worms. Because now I feel emboldened. Remember what Pippin said to Medi? Don't encourage him. Oh. 
Where's the worm? Huh? Where did it go? Cheats. He saw me. Maybe he just used vision. Oops. Help. Oh, sh I'm stuck. He let me go. We need to apply pressure to save this. This needs to come out. The moment I see worms, I have to turn around. No. I'm going to die for it. I can't show him the towers. I have to run at his base again. Then maybe he won't find this. Space created. No! He expanded! He doesn't know! It actually worked, the TC sacrifice. One on one? <sighs> Crazy damage from TC. <laughs> it's like the most boring fight I've ever done. What's with the probability of those hits, though? Hey, I have him outranged too, huh? Run! Oh! Ah, oh, that was close. I even got the... If I was 10 years younger, I would have got the TP. Let's get pillage. I don't know if he expanded in the top. We can get some XP from these. Ni ni nice. Okay, 32 XP. Oh. Nice, Necro. <laughs> it's okay, we have a new TC on speed dial. I'm still wondering. Does he have Expo? We have pillage now, so we're gonna do massive resource gains. We just quickly kill his black citadel. We'll be shot to pieces! Look at the money gain, it's crazy.
Next time. The only downside of that attack, besides its amazing cost efficiency, is that he gained a little bit of XP. Yeah, we have two bases, but I'm afraid he has top uh, left. I need heal scroll protection scroll next time. We'll sacrifice one good dude. Oh, this is farmed. Yeah. Upgrades three zero still. The good thing is, he no longer has spells. It's crazy he's choosing to attack peons over a hero. Normally they're not like that, but I guess it's the anti-maging AI. Anti-maging, not maging. Oh, this was so fast. Oh, yes! The one time with TC, I'm happy to find endurance. I think we should just go for his base. Repairing. Aha! He lost his nerve. Excellent. The peon base trade. You could never win a base trade against peons with just meat wagons and frost worms. Makes sense. Work complete. We should uh, leave some items here, the unimportant ones, and get heal scroll protection. Boots too. We could also do a, a split attack where we take out his base with a crack squad of hidden peons. Highly trained specialized peons. So we do it we do a pincered attack. Not pincer. 
uh, a two point attack. The decision has been made. I didn't think I'll be using them this much. Oops. In the attack. That's a mistake. Okay, gold mine collapsed. We need to regroup. Peons are such bad fighting units. They really leave a lot to be desired. Don't you think? Every time I think like, as long as you have enough, it's gonna be good. And it isn't. Now the real attack is down here. Uh, the real attack is up there actually. And the fake attack is uh, is here. Here's a fiend. We have to get in position. Get in position and wait for my go. I wonder what items are here. Devotion. Oh, bone chimes! Whoa. Devotion too. And scroll the beast. Oh my god, dude. Scroll of the beast. Ah, we should have staff of teleport. I think I leave the orb for a bit and then. Okay. Okay. Let's get staff of teleport and then we finish off his base there. In this. Okay, we have a plan now. Oh god, this is truly the last ditch effort. We have to finish it with this because we only have one mining base left. Let's see if he's hiding in his main or up there. I think he's up there. Okay, we start harassing. Oh god. Me not that kind of orc. Me not that kind of orc. Zug zug. Wow. Yes, 
<laughs> we have so many peons. And it still doesn't matter. Dude, he has Cloak of Flames. I, they're too strong, I have to base raid. Please, no Frost Nova. Any death and decayers? <laughs> Dude, undead heroes OP. Okay, last chance. We need more gold. I'll try. Why not? Why not? Something we have to get the DK. Oh my god, dude. We're under I have to run. For my ancestors, I stand ready. Hey, he's he's dying to spikes by the way. <laughs> At least we're still getting money from this. Those peons were meant to eliminate his entire base while he came to defend his main. It didn't work out that way, did it? Tell me coming. Uh, we're gonna have to defeat the uh, Halls of the Dead. Is this immoral? These bats? Yes. Don't the end justify the means? I haven't used them yet, so in theory... No, it's unethical. You're a very naughty boy. Oh no. Naughtiest Maximus. He's got a bunch of frost worms, guys. Not to be alarmed, but. We need to get endurance. Uh, not endurance. Reincarnation. Hmm. Sappers might be able to do it. It depends if he ever goes for the peons. Oh no, we have almost no money. Oh, we could. Oh! Oh! Invis! Invis! We could Invis. By the way, recently in my Mountain King only challenge, there was a moment where I was like, why did I come out of Invis? And someone in YouTube comments cleared it up and said, it's because Avatar ended. Which I guess I did know that it works that way, but I forgot to see that Avatar ended.
Did you, did you see that? He should have seen that. I stand ready. Yes. Strange bathing. Oh, it's empty. He's out of money. So the Acolyte kill did almost nothing, but we did get a lot of XP for it. We're gonna have very little money left ourselves. Every unit we kill is dead forever. We could still try to play without bats. One Acolyte off, yeah. Scroll of speed. Any items? Unholy Aura. Oh. Cloak of Flames. Oh. I guess the Devotion Aura memes are over. Now movement speed is better. Bone Chimes. Let's get Unholy instead. Totally not a way. Oh! Oh! Double Ank. An excellent plan. Yes, something is doing. Aegis. Our gold mine has collapsed. That's it. Final mine. Northern Isles is out of gold so quickly. To use the bats or not. It's like this hidden temptation. No bats, you have to. I think I have to. Save them until hero is lost. Dude, I nearly lost it. If I use them just to kill the frost worms, just to even the playing field, that seems ethical. Oops, I keep doing the same thing. I forgot to use that, which is already there. Just use them a little bit. A little bit. Small amount of explosions. Just a few. Just a few. It's true, once the bad riders explode, it's not like I have any units anymore. That's true, actually. Like, it's not even really like I'm using them. Gets consumed first or not? Oh, it's the it's the reincarnation first.
Unethical gamer gets what's coming to him. I'm not authorized. Oh, there we go. I'm banned. Deserved. Remake TC and Alter. I can never kill DK and Lich. I can never kill DK and Lich. And the buildings. It's a draw. Even if I remake it, it'd be a draw. I might be able to draw it out another 50 minutes because he can't kill my buildings either. You Okay, it's true. I can, okay, I can win the game if I do the following. Remake Hero from Alter, assuming Alter survives and he doesn't death and decay it, right? Once, and then stay in base until I have re reincarnation back, and then run at him. And shockwave his black citadel and then run home with a war stomp and a reincarnated TC. Wait at home again until reincarnation is back, another three and a half minutes, and then do one more shockwave on his black citadel. If somehow he isn't guarding me with Coil Nova all the way. I think very unlikely to win, but I could definitely it would take him probably like twenty death and decays to win the game. So I could make another thirty minutes of uh hit and run content but in theory he should win old grubby would have done that kappa it's true it's true but new grubby has more content to show and you can see it if you sub to the grub old grubby would have done that kappa